speed in the lane, still getting it. How's it going today, YouTube? This is Justin here with the Phaser Network, bringing you a Black Ops 2 review on Phaser Games. I'm playing Black Ops on Kowloon. This is an excellent game still. I absolutely love it. You're going to see some good gameplay here, a few tomahawk kills, and just pretty much all around beasting, zip lining, just having fun on Black Ops. I broke away from the Modern Warfare 3 for a little bit and kind of wanted to go back, check out the Black Ops, see if it was still lively and fun like it was so long ago before Modern Warfare 3 came and just pooped on all of my expectations for the next Call of Duty. Now today I'm going to do a little review talk on the up and coming Black Ops 2 and I just want to let everybody know that I have done some research and that all of this information I'm going to share with you has come from other people's reviews and announcements on their uh, web websites, web addresses, everything. So the first one I'm going to talk about is I looked up on GameRant.com and I found an article about how Treyarch is shockingly hiring programmers for their next Call of Duty title. And what may come as a bit of news to fans is that apparently it looks like the game is in question will not be merely another entry into the series, but Black Ops 2 will be a direct sequel to their best-selling game of all time, which was Black Ops. So like the Modern Warfare series from 4 to 2 to 2 to 3, it has picked up in the campaign right where the other one left off. So pretty much Treyarch is looking to start their own Black Ops legacy. So we're looking at Black Ops 1 and then going straight into Black Ops 2, we're going to be looking for the story, the sequel, to pick up directly where Black Ops 1 left off. So excited about that. Excited to see what the next step and uh, kind of theater and video uh, gameplay is in Black Ops 2. I, I'm really excited. I loved Black Ops 1. Uh, a lot of my buddies that I used to play Black Ops with still play to this day. The Black Ops game is what got me into YouTube, so... I have a lot of respect for Black Ops and, and the controls and just the gameplay all together with the hatchets, uh, the throwing hatchets and the, the way you can run and dive and zip line down things. It's just, it's a better all around gameplay. You, you know, you can run, dive around corners and you, you got flamethrowers and it's just, I wish Modern Warfare 3 was built on the same engine that, that Black Ops is because Modern Warfare 3 would be an awesome gameplay, but the fact of Modern Warfare 3 with their dual FMG 9s is just, I don't even want to get started on that game because it's one of the crappiest, it's one of the crappiest Call of Duties I've ever played, and I, I guarantee you a lot of people will agree with me on that. So, anyway, one more thing I want to talk about, I bought an Xbox yesterday, just to let everybody know that I'm really going to be stepping up my game for these game reviews on our games channel. Uh, I'm going to be purchasing a ton of Xbox games. I already have a ton of PlayStation games. Mostly all these new games are coming out. Like I have pre-ordered Mass Effect 3, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I'll actually be posting a lot of beta gameplay on that. I'm just waiting for my beta key to come to me from the support at GhostRecon.FutureSoldier.com because they messed up my uh, code from the GameStop. So, whenever that gets back to me, I'll be uploading some Ghost Recon Future so Soldier beta gameplay. That way, everybody can get a look at that before the game's actually out. So, stay tuned for that. But back to the Black Ops 2. Now, according to that video game blog, who are claiming that the latest issue of Opmuck is dropping a sizable number of hints that Treyarch is not only staffing up for this next inevitable. COD title, but it's seeming more and more likely that the game will be a direct sequel, like I said before. So, another blog website claiming that they have information that Black Ops 2 is going to pick off right where Black Ops 1 left off. Now, we know that there was a likelihood that a sequel was in the works for some time with the Treyarch posting job openings in March and Community Manager confirming that Black Ops sequel was possible in the studio's future, but 
the fact of the matter is that Activision and Treyarch, they would have to be out of their minds to not be planning a sequel to to that game because it's it's one of the record top record uh, shattering sales games and in, in the uh, Black Ops or the Call of Duty community. So I don't understand why they wouldn't even think about dropping a Black Ops Two like that. That has to be something that needs to be done. If I was a game producer. Like, I'm a network owner. That would just be something I would do. I would drop a Black Ops 2 as soon as possible. I'd drop it a few months, six months after Modern Warfare 3 came out because everybody's about ready to take a shit on their Modern Warfare 3 case and fucking burn it and throw it out the fucking window and never upload Modern Warfare 3 gameplay again after six months because it's such a shit-ass game. So once, once everybody's at the poop point, you could say, I, if I was... Treyarch, I'd be like, bam! Fucking Black Ops 2, motherfuckers. Play this shit, because Modern Warfare 3 sucks fucking dack. Alright? But, anyway, the game itself is a fore foregone conclusion. Whether it will be a continuation of the first game's plot, or merely give another dose of an awesome cinematic presentation, and maybe some new mechanics of Black Ops is, is anyone's guess. But, <clears throat> without a doubt, uh, the biggest surprise in pretty much all of this news is just how far off many predictions were in the wake of Infinity Ward and Activision Split. So, Some expected that Treyarch, perhaps unfairly known as the makers of the inferior COD titles, would absolutely bomb on Black Ops due to inferior gameplay and fan backlash over Activision's legal drama with Modern Warfare developer Infinity Ward. But... The opposite took place, with Treyarch delivering the highest grossing title in history of the series, and Modern Warfare 3 grabbing headlines already, even without the studio's founders on board. So, that right there tells me that Call of Duty, no matter what title it has, in in this time period, in our time period now, that Call of Duty, no matter what one they come out with, as long as it keeps continuing on a shit level, like Modern Warfare 3, then I guess it's going to be an ultimate seller. So hopefully when Black Ops 2 comes out, we don't have to worry about dual FMG9s anymore or uh, shit-ass fucking weapons running around and just spraying people around corners and all that good stuff. Because I remember in Black Ops, bullets didn't travel around corners. This isn't fucking the movie wanted. Like, I don't understand Modern Warfare 3. It's like they forgot to make, make corners of walls solid so bullets just fly right through them. But, I don't know. Just wanted to give you guys a little Black Ops 2 review. Uh, post you a little something about what I thought. How excited I was about it. And show you some Black Ops gameplay. Let you know that the game hasn't died yet. The game is still an awesome game. I'm still extremely well at it with my Tomahawks. and It's just a fun game. I like it a lot better than Modern Warfare 3. There's, it takes a lot more skill in this game. You can't just run around and pull the trigger and kill people through walls and shit. So, Other than that, I'm going to let you guys get back to this gameplay. I hope you enjoyed my Black Ops 2 review. I hope you're excited as I am for this game to drop. And I've been hearing rumors that anywhere in November this game could drop. Uh, 2012, so hopefully maybe sooner than that. Uh, I'd love to see it. I'd love to play it. I would... I'd probably poop on my Modern Warfare 3 case and and then burn it and throw it out the window and make room for my new Black Ops 2 case on the wall. So I'll let you guys go. Now, don't forget, I got a few more game reviews coming out on Phaser Games. Thanks for joining me. This is Justin, owner of the Phaser Network, and I will see you later.